quarantiners, it's Friday, November 6th, and today I'd like to introduce you to my very special co-host. He freaked us all out on Halloween. He came through the gate without telling anyone. He has a lot of explaining to do. He looks like Alex. He sounds like Alex, but he is not Alex. It's Xander! I thought you said you weren't going to do that. Sorry, couldn't resist. Say hi to the quarantiner, Xander. Is this where I'm supposed to do a dumb joke? Because that's where I draw the line. You know, you're not making this easy. I agreed to sit with you for the podcast, didn't I? It's not enough to sit. A lot of people would think being my co-host was a real honor. (laughs) Good for them. I tried. Okay, let me catch you up on what's been going on since Halloween. Sanders here, Rem's still here, which means two of me and two of Alex. It's like mom and dad suddenly have two pairs of twins. Twins that distract them from work. Twins that can't be in the same room with each other. Yeah, so that part's complicated. We basically have to announce every time we leave or enter a room, like this. Remy walking! Rem and Alex are currently downstairs so as to avoid any issues. Mom decided that Xander should stay in Alex's room, so he's sleeping on a blow-up mattress on my floor. He loves that, but I asked Xander to join me because he has a lot of explaining to do. Couldn't we just post it on a website or something? It's a podcast. This is what we do. We talk. Fine. Can we do some shout-outs first? Do we have to? Come on, you're gonna love it. I want you to really put some feeling into it. Make sure these kids have awesome birthdays. I'll see what I can do. Belated happy 10th to Emily's brother Charles and shout out to Girl Scout Troop 50505 and Lin-Manuel Miranda, who I love. Happy belated 6th to Jackson in Court Madra, California. Happy birthday to Clara's mom, Veronica. Happy birthday to Katie in North Carolina from your sister, Emily. Happy 8th to Maya in Sacramento, California. Happy 12th to Justin in Cambridge, Massachusetts from mom and dad. Happy 9th to Ellis in Washington, D.C. from her sister, Harper, who will be 11 soon. Happy birthday to Riley in Hopkin, Massachusetts from mom, dad, and Sydney. Go Xander! Okay. Happy 15th to Madeline from Azel, Texas. Happy birthday to Zoe in Rockford, Illinois. Happy 12th to Desiree in Guam. Your mom says she loves you very much. Happy 10th to Sebastian, and shout out to Finya from Isabella in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Happy 8th to Lucas from your sister Melanie. Shout outs to Emery and Annika in Utah, Charlie and her dog Harper in Washington. And you didn't tell me if there would be fish shout outs. I have all kinds of fans. Fine. Shout out to Ricky and her fish Miley in Brooklyn. Gotta say, not bad. Okay, now let the explaining begin. You wanna ask me questions? Ooh, good idea. I'll ask questions. All right, um, number one. When did you come through the gate? Pretty soon after Rem did. When Alex called on the walkie, I realized something was going on and I came looking for my sister. Only you didn't tell us you were here. Is that a question? Uh, why didn't you tell us you were here? Because my plan was to take my sister home, and I didn't want any complications from you or Alex. Makes sense. Sort of. Why were you following me and Fiona on Halloween? To keep you safe. How many more questions are there? Hmm. Let's see. Any other questions? Oh, I got one. You have telekinesis, too? Actually... I think I had it first. How? Uncle Gabriel. Science! And the gate closing? After I came through, I tried to use my... abilities to turn the lights back on in the tunnel. Maybe I used a little too much energy. You closed the gate behind you. Not on purpose, obviously. Obviously? Okay, just a few more questions, and then... I'm gonna head to my room. It's not your room, it's Alex's room. Whatever! Don't forget to announce! (laughs) Xander walking! 
Oh, and did I mention that we've been off from remote school this week for fall break? Which means there's a lot of time to get in each other's way. Remy. Alex? Is it safe? Yeah, Xander just left. Come on in. Phone call. Who is it? Unknown caller, but I think it's Holiday. It's that computer voice thing again. Like the headless horseman used on the hollow. But it's our holiday? I mean, the one on this side? I think so. Hello? Holiday? Remy, I know you have been looking for me. I'm ready to see you now. Really? I'm back at your school. You are? Okay, Alex and I will be there. No, no Alex. He's with those others. Before? I don't trust them. Alex needs to stay home. So you and I can talk. Okay, I won't bang Alex, I promise. Hey, quarantiners. It's Alex. And Rem. Remy went up to the middle school to meet up with Holiday, so I thought Rem and I would run the show from here. We've got one walkie, and Remy has the other. Oh, and you might think we're crazy for letting her go alone. Which was not going to happen. Remy promised Holiday that she wouldn't bring Alex. But she didn't promise she wouldn't bring Xander. It's, it's not that we don't trust Holiday, but you never know. At least now we can be sure she's safe. Uh, Remy, you there? Over. I'm here, Alex. We're about to go into the school. Xander, can you get that window open? You know, with your mind. Yeah, like that. Thank you. Okay, we're going in. Be careful, and don't scare her off. I know what I'm doing. Remy? Remy, can you hear me? Over. She must have gone radio silent. I'm sure she'll check in when she's with Holiday. Can't believe after all this time, Holiday just decides she's ready. Guess she had to make sure she could trust Remy. Yeah. Since Sanders out, I'm gonna go reclaim my room for now. I miss privacy. Understood. Uh, Rem? Could you come in here? What is it? Yeah, so, I was gonna work on my paper for school, and I needed to go back through my search history. You might want to look at what was pulled up a little while ago. Voice generator, like the one Holiday used. Pretty much. Alex, are you saying- I don't have to say it. It saved the last lines of speech that were typed in. No. No Alex. He's with those others. No. I don't trust them. Alex needs to stay home, so you and I can talk. Holiday didn't place that call. It was Xander. He wanted Remy to go with him to the school. But why? <laughs> 